Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe this channel. Didn't to aim at bully DeSantis on in Florida as 2024 looms. Washington Reuters. Joe Biden will, for the first time as U.S. president, hold a political rally in a state where he lost in 2020 when he treks to Florida on Tuesday to stage a showdown with potential 2024 rival. Pierce, critic and possible Trump successor on DeSantis. Biden is expected to over his most sharply targeted attack yet on DeSantis, a pugnacious governor who has used the power of his office to rise the national prominence by shunning COVID-19 lockdown, mocking Biden's age and abilities, penalizing this new word for opposing a new state law limiting discussion of LGBTQ issues in schools. And recently flying Venezuelan immigrants from Texas to Martha so vineyard. Biden should treat Biden should treat DeSantis like a playground bully and strike hard, some Democrat thinks. I think people are going to look for him to be aggressive. What DeSantis is doing to is doing is a horrible thing and there is no greater juxtaposition than the kindness and humanity of Joe Biden than the you know Outbull, inhuman, bully that is Ron DeSantis, the Jennifer Holtzworth, a Democratic political consultant. Biden has held political events in Democrats' strongholds like Maryland and New York in recent weeks, but Tuesday suggests Ruth's rally, rally in Orlando is in a state he lost in 2020 by roughly three points and expected to show how we may build the cast for his re-election. While former President Donald Trump has long been considered the Republican frontrunner in 2024, recent polls show DeSantis higher in Florida. Biden will use his rally to call so-called extremist Republicans such as DeSantis a threat to democracy while seeking to leverage anger over the Supreme Court's decision to overturn the landmark Roe vs. Wade decision that granted women access to abortions, according to Democratic officials. I expect the president to throw punch. There's no way we are going to escape the elephants in the room, a senior Democratic official said of DeSantis. DeSantis, whose campaign did not respond to requests for comments, has spent the last two years trying to turn Biden into a liberal villain for his handling of the COVID-19 crisis and record inflation. He has also questioned Biden's mental competence, Biden's poll numbers remain underwater in Florida, and Republicans say they will come welcome his trip. The more that Biden comes to Florida, the better it is for the state's Republican Party, said Evan Power, chair of the Leon County Republican Party. Avoiding Biden. Democrats in close contest in the November midterms are still outperforming Biden in polls, and some have expressed concern that appearing with the president will make their election a referendum on his populi popularity. Democratic Senate candidate Paul Demings, Demings won't be there on Tuesday to meet the president in her hometown Orlando. Her campaign saying this is due to commitments she has a, U as a U.S. representative. Democratic gubernatorial candidate Charlie Chris will attend the event. I think he's great. I think he's doing a great job. He's my friend and I'm very proud of him. And he's going to give our campaign a real shot in the arm, Chris said in an interview on Thursday. Chris trails DeSantis by a wider margin than Demise. Demise does in her race against incumbent U.S. Senator Marco Rubio, a stand poll show. Demings is about tied with Rubio in the fundraising race, while Chris is going up against an incumbent with a whopping $120 million on hand, the reportedly highest in any state race in the country. Democrats also say Biden's visit will help them control a new cycle frequently dominated by dissenters. I think it will shine a bright light on the state, said Chris. 
Okay, that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.